Well, the next generation of ebook readers have been unveiled, and both Kobo and Amazon have developed all new families of devices with all new features. And although these products won't be appearing in stores until October at the earliest, I got my hands on some preview prototypes to see just what's coming for book lovers. This is the Kobo Mini. It has a 5 inch screen, making it a very small device that displays very small books. Why? Because of that. Because it fits in my pocket. It's a portable, stylish, and you can't tell I'm a stylish guy, so I've got the matching <laughs> back right now. So, uh... And that's really it. It has the same function as a regular Kobo, except it fits in your pocket and comes in a range of different colors. Back to regular size, this is the Kobo Glow and it lights up. It has a built-in illumination system that casts ambient light across the surface of the electronic page. You can adjust the brightness to suit your eyesight and the room that you're reading in. It's a much lighter version of the Kobo with a faster computer processor for better performance. This, in my eyes, is the Kobo device to get. There's also a low-priced tablet. This is the 7-inch Kobo Arc. It is powered by Google's Android software, has dual-core processors, and a high-definition camera. The focus, according to Kobo, is to play music, movies, and video games. But they've also added special software that allows you to take items of interest from the web and other programs and to pin them to the front page on this floating interface that they call Tapestry. Although they won't be coming to Canada this year, Amazon also has a new generation of Kindle devices, and this includes one that lights up. The Kindle Paperwhite has an illuminated screen, and as you can see, the lighting is quite even across the page, while the text and illustrations retain a crisp contrast. This is because of a special layer that reflects ambient light down on to the electronic page. There's also some neat tweaks, such as the ability to calculate your reading speed and tell you just how much time is left to finish that book. Now, while Kobo decided to go very small, we decided to go big. Amazon is launching both a small 7-inch tablet and a larger iPad-sized 8.9-inch tablet. They're competing directly against Apple with features like a high-definition display and Dolby Audio, but for a significantly lower price tag. These are Android tablets, but you can't tell because Amazon has done an impressive job of customizing the experience with special apps for Facebook, Skype, and as you can see here, email. Amazon is selling their tablets at cost because they plan to make money by selling video games, movies, music, and books with enhanced features. Hopefully, this will cause other tablet makers to lower their prices too.